Morning everybody, well morning, afternoon, evening, depends when I post the video. purpose of this video, I'm going to focus on, going to look at can you play golf on a budget. How I play golf on a budget, I can afford to play golf when I want to play golf. And there's people out there that might be wanting to get into it, but still see those age old stigmas around golf of it's a rich man's sport, it costs a fortune. Yeah you're right, when I tell people you can buy a driver for £500, I drive even more expensive than that. Or you can buy irons that, that will cost you £1,500 to two grand. You can also buy a driver for £30. That'll do a good job for you. And we're going to focus on a number of different things. We've got a huge driver video coming where we're going to hopefully have six drivers head to head. Average guy like myself, average swing, average swing speed. What is the difference between the club heads, the, the shafts, the, the lofts, all these different things. What does it mean to you as somebody that might want to be getting into golf? Triple T Golf, signing off for the day of golf. Switch to you soon. It's a Dunlop 65iX, 10.5 degree loft, ultra light, graphite shaft. Callaway Warbird, 12 degree, titanium head, um, senior flex again, much smaller head than what I'm used to, uh, what can I say, uh, back to me at home to give you all the details about it. So the first proper sized head is a Ben Ross rip speed 10 degrees and it is in Adelia, you've got your Adela RIP shaft, 60 gram regular with your Ben Ross grip. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it in this, should be alright.
don't know if you can see this on camera, but I've been wondering why I was hitting it so right all the time. I mean, that is my normal shot. But you can probably see there the head scratch. Now, I don't know how much, because if you look at the middle, I was hitting the ball in the centre. I don't know how much that's actually played a part. But yeah, big dirty crack in the middle of the head. Right. So I've got Callaway Big Bertha, we just put weight in for this to go off the draw. It's set in neutral, 10 and a half degree standard. Um, you do have adjustable loft, but again, back to me at home to uh, tell you all about the driver, my driver. My driver, my driver, oversized grip, feels normal, got more consistency. It's a 50 gram stiff flex shaft, a Fabuku, Fabuki, sorry. <laughs> um, oversized golf ride grip on it. And yeah, it just feels more, you know, it's consistent. I don't even drive a far, never have done. But I just want consistency, and we're more flat showed back, so. We've got an older Taylor Made R9. This is the Super Tri model, 10 and a half degree loft. Again, it's in neutral. Um, no marks on the shaft, but again, stiff leg shaft. 65 degree Fujikura. It's a little bit heavier than mine. With it again, with a oversized Lampkin grip. So, that's what we do with this one.
I've uh, cut that test up a little bit to be honest um, I just didn't give the tail I made I'm tired I feel like I'm tired I feel like I'm struggling to be honest with my back and everything so in summary the Dunlop Club felt cheap it was hard to hit but its longest drive was 256 yards so cheap and cheerful the Callaway felt a lot more forgiving its longest drive was 259 yards and although it was a senior shaft it still felt better hitting it the Ben Ross felt wild and even with the crack in it it was always going right but the longest drive was 275 yards believe it or not and yeah so my own personal driver just felt like home the grip the shaft everything suited 267 yards but it was consistency more than anything else the balls weren't where I wanted them to go roughly anyway I didn't get the trackman data for the tailor made, but the longest drive was 267. I don't feel like I give it a fair crack, to be honest. I was I was pretty shattered by this point. So overall, the winner has got to be my own personal driver. It just felt the best and hit most consistently. So this is the first of a few playing golf on a budget videos. Please leave a like, drop a comment, and most importantly, please subscribe. Your support is much appreciated.